The day started out like any normal day. I woke up, ate breakfast, went to the gym, went out on my weekly get-out-of-the-house adventure. This time I went to a mall, looked at overpriced Legos, and then had some ramen before returning home. After that, and some other activities and chores, such as my daily art practice and calling CRA to reset my account, I settled down to record another episode or two of my Warcraft 3 Let's Play series. But while recording, I noticed something weird going on in the house. It started with a strange smell, like cat pee, and some weird scratching noises. Now, I have two cats, and out of the two of them, one has a history of peeing in the house, although that issue was, for the most part, resolved years ago. So my initial worry was that we had a case of kitty recidivism, so I went about looking for signs, except when I left my room, the scent faded, and I knew for a fact that she wasn't in my room because there are only three places in my room that she likes to hang out, on top of my bed, under the covers on my bed, and in front of my screen, and currently she wasn't occupying any of them. At this point, the smell was still fairly faint, and the scratching sound had stopped, so I just went back to recording my Let's Play. I continued for a while, but occasionally I would hear the same scratching noise, like a cat trying to bury what had left behind. And the smell was getting stronger. Eventually, I had heard enough of the scratching noise to deduce that it was coming from inside my room. So I paused the game, got up, and started searching. First I checked my closet. I had opened it earlier and the cats loved to run inside. I was worried that maybe one of them had gotten stuck, but no, no cats. The next place I checked was the drawer under my bed. My other cat, the one that doesn't have a history of pee problems, likes to sleep in there a lot. My mom always likes to joke that it's the only thing in my room that's put away, and she puts herself away. Again, no cat. And right at that moment, I was thinking to myself that if they had gotten themselves stuck, they would have made copious amounts of noise long before they had the urge to pee. The last place I checked, and I did this more on a whim of thoroughness, than me thinking that anything would actually be there was the space under my bed, behind the drawers. Yeah, this isn't my cat. So I live in a house, my mom's house. We have a cat flap. We don't always want to let our cats out, but when we do, or when they escape, we usually want them to get back in, even if we aren't there to let them in. Because of this, the cat flap is one way. The cats can enter the house through it, but they cannot exit the house through it. This works perfectly well for our cats, but sometimes, very rarely, we get visitors. Here's a pic from a few years ago of another cat that got into the house the same way and got cornered in my bathroom. Except look, I know it's hard to tell because both photos are shit quality, but I'm like 99% sure this is the same cat. And I'm 99% sure because this isn't the second time that cat has snuck into the house. It's more like the fourth. Even before we got the cat flap, the cats used to use the second story bathroom window as a sort of cat door. One of the reasons we installed the cat flap was so they would stop tearing up the side of the house leaping up to it. This cat, the serial cat burglar, probably sneaking in to steal my cat's food, had somehow figured out the way our cats got into the house, probably by watching them, and had used that knowledge to get in on its own. This is why the cat is in the bathroom in this photo. It had remembered the bathroom window was an exit. The bathroom window just happened to be closed at that moment, so it was stuck. I had been sure to give the cat a good hazing before letting it escape out the front door, and I hadn't seen it again until now. I don't know if this cat is a stray, or if it's owned by someone who lets their cat out and has no inkling of the mischief it gets up to. All I knew was that this cat was currently under my bed, and it had peed an entire kitty's bladder worth of cat pee there. I'm not exactly sure how long it had been there, but given how long I had been in my room, it had been hiding for five hours minimum. First order of business, get the cat out of the house. So I opened my bedroom door, opened the front door, which was in line of sight of my bedroom door, and went to the foot of the bed, banged it a bit, then glared at the cat with my flashlight through the gap. The cat, looking rather tired of the whole ordeal, ran out of my room, ran down the stairs, and out the front door. With that done, I pulled out my drawer and tried to clean up the cat pee as best I could. At this point, it had spread all over the place and soaked itself into the carpet. I wiped up what I could and sprayed it with some stuff that's supposed to eliminate pet scents. With that adventure out of the way, I went back to recording my Let's Play. It didn't really go so well. I failed the mission, and while I wanted to go again, I was starting to feel not so good. So you know the metaphor of the boiling frog? Where if you put a frog into a pot of water and slowly bring it to the boil, the frog won't notice and wind up getting cooked? It's not true, by the way. The science experiment it's based on used lobotomized frogs. Normal frogs would hop out. 
But to play the metaphor straight, in this situation, I was the frog, and the boiling water was the pungent smell of cat piss filling my room. I don't know how many cat owners there are out there watching this, but for anyone who isn't a cat owner, know that cat piss smells really bad, like really strongly bad. Most of the time this isn't an issue, since cats are perfectly willing to do their business in a box of lovely scent dropping litter, which when placed in a separate room and cleaned regularly doesn't stink up the house. But in this case, there was no litter, there was no separate room, and it wasn't just a little cat pee either, like the occasional times of my own cat. It was the entire stinking bladder right onto the carpeted floor right under my place of sleep. And I hadn't quite realized how bad it was until my body had had enough and hit the eject button, causing both my upper and lower digestive tracts to purge themselves of all contents. At this point, it was about 5am and I had had enough, so I went into my mom's room and told her that I was done for the night and we need some place to sleep. I couldn't just sleep in her room because she had a work from home temp job and it was also her office. So she threw together a makeshift bed in the living room and I passed out for the day. And that is where I slept for about three weeks. Over the next few days, we stripped the room and hired professional carpet cleaners to save the carpet. I also took a black light to my bed frame and literally carved away any wood that even had a hint of cat pee on it. Silver lining to all this is that my room really needed a good cleaning and I've gotten rid of quite a bit of stuff I'd been hoarding over the years. As of me recording this, I finally put my room back together enough for me to use. I'm still in the process of rearranging things, but the space under my bed has been blocked for any and all future cat access. I'm hoping I can get back on track to being productive soon, as I had finally found a method of actually wrestling my mind into getting things done before the incident. It's amazing how much one single event caused by a strange cat can completely break my chain of constructive habits and throw my life into disarray. If you've been following my Warcraft 3 Let's Play series, I will post the episodes I had recorded soon. However, the series and all forms of content will most likely be on hold until after Dragonflight Season 4 starts since I've, uh, I've been procrastinating on doing Soul Shuffle and I did say in my last Quest to Get Good video that I wanted to try healing this season, so I'll be focusing on that. Anyways, thanks for watching and may your rooms ever be free of cat piss. Goodbye.